Sony removing Cyberpunk 77 from the PlayStation Store. What a shame. I was really hoping that this game was actually going to be pretty good. I keep asking people who play it. I hear, I hear a lot about shitty graphics. Not op, you know, It's not really optimized. And of course, people imagine it just doesn't make sense. Why would they release the game in such a poor state? It's only going to hurt the stock. And of course, some people make that statement, you know, developers got to stop feeling pressured to buy, excuse me, by stockholders is to release unfinished products. And I would say it's actually quite smart. I would say it's actually quite smart when you think about it. Most people were going to be super hyped. This game had so much hype. And so naturally it was going to cause the stock to rise, right? I mean, if you just look at CD Projekt, CD Projekt Red stock, as you can see, it is straight up in the air. And so people are like, oh, you know, they're just releasing it to drive, to drive up the, the stock price. And I would say no. It was actually probably quite smart to release the game in the setting that they did to literally drive the stock down, right? I mean, the stock was... Is literally, this is literally what you see as a pump and dump, right? So the stock went from 460 all the way down to 240 to about 230, was it 237, I think? The stock went down almost 50%, right? I mean, that's a pretty good tactic for buying cheap stock. I'd say that's a pretty good tactic for buying cheap stock. And then in the subsequent days, you made about 30% on your money within, what, two or three days of the bounce? You're basically up. I mean, for the most part, most of these people who are higher up know that you people who hype these games up, you're still going to play the game. People are still going to buy it. They, they just figured to themselves, they'll just patch it in the future. So I'll just wait, right? I'll wait a month or two or three. I'll play it once they patch it. And these people make millions forget about what they make on the forget about what they make on the sales the, the the money that they make on the sales is inconsequential to the money that they make off the stock driving the stock price down off of the bad news you literally pull the floor out of investors people panic sell because of the bad news it just literally drops like a rock and then you just sit there right you just sit there and you just take in all those cheap shares literally making money overnight into the millions because they know that you people don't change you people don't change your buying habits so you become predictable to the shareholders so what do they do they release a shitty game completely itched out your average retail shareholder is probably thinking we're going to make some money this is going to this is the best game coming out super hyped out and they just literally pull the floor out from right underneath you and they just say come to papa and get all your free stock on the cheaps, fifty percent discount, right? This is better than finding those bar. What are those? What do they call those bargain bin discounts on video games? Shit, getting stock for fifty percent off, knowing the history. Look at this. This is straight up in the air. So, as a smart investor, especially if you're pulling some real weight, right? If you're one of these big, big investors with billions and billions of dollars, you're cleaning up. It's actually quite smart, but you guys keep falling for it.